Well, rescue teams spent nearly 24 hours saving six people who got stuck on Mount Katahdin over the weekend. And tonight, Nora Hogan caught up with a camper who spoke with two of the park rangers involved following what was a harrowing rescue. I can't express enough how serious that mountain is, how deadly it can become, and how quickly it can go from a pleasant day to an absolute disaster. Mount Katahdin is Maine's highest peak, and many consider it to be one of the most challenging parts of the Appalachian Trail. Going across the knife edge, it's one mile long. You have to expect it's going to take two hours to even three hours to get across the knife edge, one mile. Galen Ritchie has been going to Baxter State Park since he was 10 years old. Over the weekend, he was catching up with two park rangers during an annual camping trip at Chimney Pond. Ranger Andy and Ranger Jen, who we've gotten to know over the years, great people. Um, I asked them what was going on. They looked exhausted. Late Saturday night, two park rangers and a team of search and rescue members made the trek to the top of Pomola Peak in the dark. The rangers climbed Dudley Trail alone, one starting ahead with a lighter pack in an effort to reach the hikers quickly. Without uh, Ranger Andy and Ranger Jen going up there, it, it, it could have been a, a, a very serious uh, situation where um, there could have been a fatality. Rescuers reached the hikers with supplies. With 30 mile per hour wind gusts, they made the choice to stay overnight. Finally, come morning, one hiker was airlifted out and crews helped the other five down the mountain to safety. It's literally an incredible feat what these two rangers did uh, on their own. And they acted like it was part of every day. I mean, these instances don't happen regularly, but it was part of their job and they, they took it very seriously. In Westbrook, I'm Nora Hogan for Maine's Total Coverage.